Ooh, some robbers. What they finna do? Hey, be careful. There's cars on the floor oh. here. <laughs> Thanks. That's weird, huh? <laughs> yeah, the doorknob was really hot, but I just let go instead of holding onto it. Okay, so and they're smart there's robbers. there's ice on the stairs to the basement, so <laughs> I guess just don't go down there. Not even smart, just, just competent. Just so you guys know, I have a tarantula. Oh my gosh! Well, now there are no witnesses. Poor, poor, poor Macaulay Culkin! <laughs> Today we're going to be checking out Family Guy Try Not To Laugh Funniest Moments Ever. If you got through this video without laughing, go ahead and comment I did it in the comment section below. Hey Harry, newly single salesman. Short but handsome, slightly hairy, newly single salesman. I love salesman. this guy. Short but handsome, slightly hairy, <laughs> newly single salesman. Oh my Ion gosh. Harrington of Al inflatable Harrington's arms. Waving, inflatable arm failing two-man <laughs> warehouse and emporium. <laughs> Due to a gut-busting divorce, limited Damn. business skills, and Damn. significant prodding from my therapist, oh my I am seeking online companionship as a short but handsome, slightly hairy, newly single salesman. <laughs> oh, he's on a date. To attempt to convert my heavily embellished internet profile and carefully airbrushed out of date photo oh my into a gosh. physical intimacy with you. He's so sad, man. You need to get rid of those. Seeing what we see. Okay. Seeing what we see. Brother Roscoe, what do Gotta you see? Gotta love black people. I see Howard Johnson's billboard. Seeing what you okay. see. An old red bar that needs a paint job. Seeing it, sister. Boy in a truck too young to drive. Seeing what you see. Okay, Stu, we got that voice. Oh, uh, uh. Car? Oh. oh my gosh, bro. Let's just see what we see and Who let him on the bus? Go to the back of the bus. No, that's not a race, though. So. Here we are. This <laughs> seems pretty gross. I can't believe my baby's gonna be the son of God. Looks like all those years fighting off my own father's advances have finally paid off. I guess that's the olden Damn. times. <laughs> this is kinda like a barn. We could call him Barney. Yeah, maybe. Barney, please I, not I Barney. Like Tristan. Oh my no. God. You want to get the crap beat out of him? They will crucify him with a name like that. I've never no, met a guy no, I like no, that was no. named Tristan. What are you doing? <laughs> How long you been there? Those names is no good. Look, why don't y'all just give me a list? I'll run him up to God and see if he picks one. No. <laughs> no. That's While she's champagne. No. Champagne. No. Well, well, terrible. Rose. These are all just terrible. <laughs> Relax, God. You want me to get y'all some wine and cheeses? Wait, what'd you just say? Cheeses. You want some cheeses? Cheeses? Jesus. Oh, I get it. Listen up. <laughs> All right, another musical Take number. M and M and Justin Bieber too. Oh man. Even though they dress <laughs> and try to talk like you, the music of Taylor Swift and clothing from J. We all remember when Kanye said, "I'm gonna let you finish." <laughs> also, half of Derek G to add to that, a fleet of soccer moms packed into their yoga tights. Poor kid. So moms don't care. <laughs> this awesome, neat, wonderful stuff. You know, you don't thank the Lord. You thank the whites. I don't know if I want to thank the whites. This feels very weird. <laughs> what the hell? Yeah, get off of it. <laughs> we gave you Breaking Bad and all the songs by Creed. All the cast of Friends and trash like Tara Reid. There's no black world people world in Friends. Porn, so Not a single you one. Can spill your seed. <laughs> Ray Van glasses, leggy blondes with tiny asses. <laughs> Be sports and fancy coffee too. Energy efficient lights. And so for all this awesome, it's just, neat, wonderful why does the chorus gotta be think the whites? Thank the Lord, you thank the whites. <laughs> don't get me wrong, there's a lot of things that uh, white people have done that have been beneficial for, you know, the advancement of humankind. And then they have also been responsible for a lot of things that have been the cause of the reg regression of mankind and a lot of other bad things. I'm sure y'all know what I'm talking about. It's too much to name. But we love white people on this channel. Ooh, some robbers. What they finna do? Hey, be careful. There's cars on the floor oh. here. <laughs> Thanks. That's weird, huh? Yeah, the doorknob was really hot, but I just let go instead of holding on to it. Okay, so and they're smart there's robbers. there's ice on the stairs to the basement, so I guess just don't go down there. Not even smart, just, just competent. Just so you guys know, I have a tarantula. Oh my gosh! Well, now there are no witnesses. Poor, poor, poor Macaulay Culkin! <laughs> hey, you guys notice how many Asians there are at this school? I mean, how'd they all get so smart? I don't know. I guess that's Asian. just the way God made them. Asians Gentlemen, tend to be smart. I give you the Asian. Ooh. Ooh. Wow. Compact, <laughs> hairless, and fiercely intelligent. Hairless. Asians, while tiny, are extremely efficient. <laughs> We're projecting 10 billion within five years. Also, there'll be different varieties that will all hate each other for some reason. <laughs> Do they eat just, like, regular food? <laughs> no, 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 the opposite. <laughs> just regular food? I mean, it's regular to them, not regular to us. What's up, Bill? 
I don't know how people watch silent movies back then. Yeah, like who has the time to read all of that? No. I mean, should I read it? I, I didn't even have enough time to. <laughs> Sorry, can I read all that? Can you give me a short version? Thank you. Peter's just like me. Here comes the train. Oh. <laughs> that was funny. To breakfast, underwear that laces up. All girls have a guy's haircut. Crank your car to make it start. You will die of measles. The Great Gatsby, man. The dumbest book I've ever read. Forced to read, I should say. Oh, oh. Oh, it's Peter okay. Airbag. It's okay. Peter's got you. Oh. Don't you worry. Everything's gonna be all right. Sure, it's a fizzy. Is my wife okay? No, the ski boots that was in the back flew up and chopped her head oh. off. Oh. You can turn your blinker off now. It's very annoying. Oh. Good. Poor guy. Is that a giraffe disco dancing? What is going on? Are you Donna Summer? Why, yes, I am. I just want to thank you for helping me reach a state of cocaine fueled 1970s euphoria. Robert Maplethorpe! <laughs> Can I put this fire extinguisher someplace interesting and take your picture? I would love that! Don't do drugs, kids. Don't do drugs. This giraffe is the lesson for all y'all. <laughs> hey, Uncle Brian, let's go check out that noise. This is crappy, know, scrappy, dude. Brian. Yeah. Be better just to stay put. <laughs> I'm not afraid. Never yet. Him. Let you better die, bro. Yep. <laughs> GG. <laughs> Damn it. I told my sister this wasn't a good weekend. Your, that Velociraptor is your sister. Oh, what, what, what are you looking at? Oh, you coming for me? Nope, nope. I'll just take a big backward knee step in the opposite direction. Yeah. Hey, you think I'm afraid of you? I slept on your back last night, you Okay. Stork got some sass to him. That's a stork, right? I think that's a stork. It has to be a stork. Is it? Oh, gosh. I feel dumb if that's not a stork. Oh, TSA. How okay. we hate y'all. Now, see? She didn't say good morning to me. So I put an orange dot on her boarding pass, which means they're going to search her anus. Wow. I noticed you also circled a bunch of things on her ticket. Why did you do that? Because otherwise, the line moves too quickly. You see, the whole thing we're going for here at the TSA is a sort of bored fascism. Huh. I think I can handle that. I did not tell you to approach. That's exactly how they do it. <laughs> the worst thing a passenger can do is approach your podium before you tell them to. As bad as those 19 hijackers were, the people we see here every day are much worse. Boy, Larry, there's a lot to remember. I, I hope I don't screw something up. Trust I mean, if you, you do, you're, you're TSA. You're basically unfireable. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Come on, man. Look around. You're the hottest person who works here. Oh, my gosh. Gross. Imagine if all your employees oh, that look like that. It. Everybody Ugh. does look kind of dumpy. <laughs> That's not entirely their fault. They're all told to wear a pair of their dad's pants. <laughs> Speaking of which, tomorrow, bring in a pair of your dad's pants. I honestly hate the whole entire flying experience. Never once liked it, liked it, you know, the whole TSA waiting, the lines, all that nonsense. And a flight can, you know, reschedule any second. They can have delays, 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 delays. You can even be on the plate and they say, oh, there's an issue. It's gonna be a one hour delay. But let you be two, three minutes late to boarding and they are not letting you on that plane. What kind of sense does that make? All right, we're just gonna take a quick cap Oh gosh. Smear. Don't you mean pap smear? No, at this hospital, we obtain the sample using beloved British comic strip roustabout, Andy Cap. Oh, ugh, Hello, why would you? <laughs> Let's have a swear. I'm not letting you do that. Please you don't. See. <laughs> That's all right, bird. I goes by smell. Smell? Oh, no. <laughs> Evil turtle. Sheldon, what are you doing? Get back in your bowl where you belong. That's a very fitting name for a turtle, Sheldon. <laughs> well, as long as I'm up, I might as well go spit in Lois's mouth. Yeah. I mean, some people like that, I guess. Sheldon? You, you better get ready to box, Dewey. Because he's ready. Oh, he said he's badass. He said he don't feel pain. <laughs> he said living is the true pain. <laughs> Come on, Stewie. He's just a little turtle. He can't hurt you. Oh, now you're a baby again? It'd be funny. He'd be going from baby to serial killer. There you go. That's the Stewie that I know. There you go. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Send him to the Ninja Turtles. Send him back to his own kind. That's what I'm talking about, Stewie. Big Stew. <laughs> <laughs> It'd be so funny to me how, like, one second Stewie can be acting like a complete baby, you know, just the same characteristics as a baby, sucking his thumb, wanting his mama, all that. And then the next second, he's Kung Fu serial killer, making explosions, can take down the whole entire government, V for Vendetta. Like, what is going on? This man Stewie's genes. Who is his true father? Because there's no way it's Peter Griffin. 
Yeah, send him back to the Ninja Turtles. Go train with, with uh, I don't know what the rat's name is. <laughs> Master Splinter? There you go, I think it's Master Splinter. I was about to say the Shredder, but he's a villain. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, y'all don't want no smoke. <laughs> they knew better. So get going. I don't like eggnog. Drink the nog, Kata. I, I don't... I don't want to take it. Who guy. likes eggnog? They call it nog. Don't do that to it. Are you forcing that white no. stuff down his mouth? Man, you like that nog. Don't spit the nog out. With no consent? POV shot. Say thank you with a <laughs> nog in your mouth. This is so wrong. Thank you. This is so wrong. Thank you. This is Good. So now go down to the hotel lobby and check out with nog all over your face. He has some in his eye. <laughs> you know, I still don't like Christmas, but I kind of like what we just did. Because it was so <laughs> sus. <laughs> Liam Neeson has begun shooting his latest film. His new project is reportedly an historical epic in which Mr. Neeson stars as a vengeance crazed Albert Einstein. He's always Animal vengeance, has man. This exclusive first look that I taped off my VCR from Entertainment Tonight. <laughs> I'll give you the formula. My foot equals your balls squared. This man, Liam Neeson, is always out for revenge. A fraud. <laughs> oh, come on, Peter, not this again. What? He's a fake tough guy. I could totally kick his ear. Nah, he's, I think he's pretty know. tough. He could be. the same speech a million times. Yeah, every time you get a couple of beers in you, we have to hear all about how you can beat up Liam Neeson. It's not true. Yes, it is. What about that time we snuck beers into the opera? Oh, what's he about to do? He's about to get drunk at the opera. <laughs> All right, Peter. Just one sip. That's not bad. Okay, nope. That's the second sip. That's the second one. Is that it? You done for the night? You're good? Yeah, you feeling good? You buzz? You know, you chilling? You you enjoying the way you feel right now? You don't need another sip. You don't need... Okay, he needed another sip. <laughs> I could totally beat up Liam Neeson. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> Let me know down in the comment section below if you can beat up uh, Liam Neeson. I think I could probably, you know, throw, throw the dudes for a little bit. And I'm not talking about him now where he's like, what, 60 plus years old. I'm talking about prime Liam Neeson. So well, I, I got confidence in myself. But do you have confidence in yourself? Can you take Liam Neeson? But don't forget to subscribe, share, like this video. Because without further ado, that was it. My name is Prince of Hawkum. Stay charming, my friends.